My name is Karolina Altmans. I'm head of piano studies at the Dana School of Music right across the street. And uh, two days ago, two days ago, I returned from a trip to Europe to record an album in Germany. We had two days in one of the European premier recording studios at a beautiful, beautiful Steinway, Hamburg Steinway Model D. We had a producer and we had a technician 24 seven on staff and we needed that time the whole time because the city in which this is happening has announced that they're doing repairs street repairs and that means noise and that means no recording so we were taking takes and putting down music and then it's like oh no good there's some whatever jackhammer or some beeping truck or something like that on the recording and then we got a break from above, literally, because it started raining. Which that was a good thing, because the workers stopped immediately. But then you could hear the rain, and on top of it, it's summer. So pretty soon we had thunder. So that, too, didn't go with the recording. So there were some problems, but we had 24-7 access to the hall, which meant that we put down quite a lot of the album at times when other people usually sleep. And I returned, as I said, just this, uh, today is Wednesday, I returned on, on Monday, so Monday was Labor Day, so I'm just about here now. The album, to tell you a little bit about it, was sponsored by Youngstown State University through a faculty improvement leave semester, which I just completed, it was the spring semester. And it deals entirely with music to do with the subject of wind. There's a collaboration going on between Youngstown State University and a university in Germany, namely in Darmstadt, a university that specialized in wind power and energy gained through wind. And there is a guy who actually is a researcher at this university who is specialized in wind turbine, like the wheels, gaining of energy and replacing coal and all the kind of dirtier sources of energy on the long run. So we're doing a collaboration with this person in Darmstadt and we are also combining the whole album with a videographer. So this is somebody who's taking video and he will videotape a couple of dancers dancing to one of the pieces on the album should tell you that the last name of that researcher in Darmstadt happens to be Oldmans. And that's not by accident because it's my nephew. <laughs> so he is specialized in environmental matters and I told him you want to do something together. He just got this new professorship at the university there and he's fired up. So he's going to uh, basically write a report of where we are with gaining energy through wind and where we can be in five years, in 10 years, etc., etc. Just a very simple overview. I told him, don't make it technical because I have no clue what you're talking about. It has to be something that all of us can easily understand and gain some insight as to what can be really done with those wind turbines. And I'm sure you all have seen, there is one right outside on campus here. So there's fields of those, of course, in California and Texas and other places in the nation as well as in Germany. The album features all the pieces that are on your program. What you have in front of you is playing time, notes only, music only, 74 minutes. I'm not allowed to be here that long, so I can at best give you some little introductions of pieces here or there and show you some of them. I have made sure that I pick selections that clearly relate to the subject of wind which was not that easy. So it had to have the title of wind or something wind-like in it, so the wind had to appear in the title, or it had to be quite clear that we're dealing with the subject of wind, which we'll get to in a little bit when I come to my Debussy selection. The very first point of program that I would like to present to you today is my oldest piece, and it's also the first one on this particular program. It's by the French Baroque composer François Couperin. His piece is called The Little Windmills. Now this is really quite old repertoire, and with that there wasn't so much of an expression of personal emotions possible. So how do you deal with that, and how do you actually set wind 
into music when you're not allowed to do what I just sort of warmed up with, but you have to keep it nice and restrained. You will hear in the piece that I'm going to play for you some scales. And those scales are the turning of the windmills. So you have to let your imagination quite go in order to experience any sort of motion, let alone windmills, let alone wind. My earliest piece, François Couperin, Les Petits Moulins à Vent. Now we're going to turn the wheel of time quite forward. I'm going to have to do this to you. We're going back and forth a little bit today. My next piece on the program is very dear to me. It is by Leos Janacek, who is a Czech composer. And he wrote a whole selection that is called On an Overgrown Path, which is beautiful and has a lot of natural descriptions and depictions in music. His piece is called, in German, in German title, Czech composer, Ein Verwehtes Blatt, which means a blown away leaf. Now, as we're listening to this blown away leaf, you mustn't imagine this to be an actual blown away leaf. It is as everything in music to do with our emotional state. So maybe it's something that reminds you of something, or it is how you feel about something. Leos Janacek's music has been featured a lot as film music and there are several films that are set in the city of Prague. Those of you who have seen pictures of Prague or have been maybe in the city of Prague will be quite able to relate to this kind of film scoring type of music. So here it goes, a quiet, very romantic and quite introverted little piece by Leos Janacek, A Blown Away Leaf.
today with you, we're going to do a piece that is fresh off the press. It is written by James Wilding and it is called The Black Wind Came in the Morning. And I have to show you something that I'm going to use for this piece. Some of you might know that one can actually read music off an iPad and I will do that for you. Here's the music, looks like this. So it's music played with the iPad, okay. But I also have a pedal that I will use to turn my pages. So I don't need to actually bother anybody else with the performance of this. This is my turner pedal, it looks like this, and it's connected via Bluetooth to my iPad. This here I stuck on there myself because many stage floors are black and you have to sometimes look where's my iPad pedal and then if it's all black you can't see a thing. That's why I put this little ugly number on top here. The piece is about eight minutes long and the idea behind it is somewhat of an apocalyptic wind that is coming. Like we're having weather patterns like that right now. A wind that destroys lives, a wind that destroys hopes, a wind that is just out to destroy. So that is The Black Wind Came in the Morning. The piece is about seven minutes long. It is not overly contemporary. but it has its moments and it was commissioned extra for the wind project. Oh, I should also tell you what you're going to hear in the piece. There will be wind and then quiet. Wind, quiet. And then the wind starts picking up with a force that leaves nobody behind. So at first you get these quiet moments and you can tell, oh, this is not good. Something is going to go pretty bad. And then after a while, it just unleashes its full power. Sometimes I will use my hand to turn the pedal because I'm using all three pedals on this piano for the performance and I only have two legs. So I'm going to have to, on occasion, with a finger tap, turn the page.
hope you could hear that gruesome wind a little bit. It's contemporary music, I know, but I think with a little bit of a story, one can kind of follow the sounds a little bit better. Now I would like to show you, let me see how much time we still have. Oh, I can still play a little bit, I think. Um, I'd like to show you some of the selections by Claude Debussy that I've also recorded. Um, let's take one at a time because they each go with their story and I'll see how the timing goes on it too. The first piece is called Le Vent dans la Plaine, which means the wind in the plain. And this is a wind, it's not a long piece, it's about three minutes or so long. This is a wind that is mischievous, that might clonk down windows or shut a door, and it sort of whisks around corners. And again, remember, all of this and the entire album is not about wind, it's all about us. So whatever you imagine that you feel or see as you listen to this music is right. Now this is by Claude Debussy out of his two volumes of Preludes, which are maybe his freest style of composition. So here he can really let his imagination go quite wild. So here is Le Vent dans la Plaine, a mischievous, fast and a little bit wicked wind for you today. Staying with Debussy, but now we're moving into wind category five. If this was two, we're going into a little bit some stronger wind. This piece is called Ce qu'a vu le vent de l'ouest, which means what the west wind saw. And I looked at the map of Europe. I have a map of Europe in my studio, so I kind of get to know Europe really well. And I looked to France, and if you look at the west of France, you will see that there is really only the open ocean. So what does it mean if a wind carries sound from the open ocean? What sounds are there on the open ocean? I was thinking as I was preparing this piece and in order to make rhyme and reason to what Claude Debussy was trying to express. And then it occurred to me, this is the open Atlantic. That means there have been battles on ships and there have been people shipwrecked. There are refugees on the open ocean. There have been people who've drowned in this open ocean. There have been people trying to go from Southampton to New York and made it, and others who have tried to do the same journey and they didn't make it. So this is a world of drama, of waves, of secrets, of the deep 
sea. And that is all depicted in Ce qu'a vu le vent de l'ouest, what the west wind saw by Claude Debussy. for coming out today to hear my little little tiny CD release. There will be more of the CD. Obviously, there will be a big release party once the album is ready. So stay tuned. Visit me on Instagram, on my homepage, on YouTube, on Facebook, whatever social media sites you're on, or in person. I'm here right now. So if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. I wish you a very good remainder of the day, and I'll see you next time.